And a very flat Irish performance. Yeah, I think, you know, first off, you have to give credit to England for, for their tactics. They picked out a couple of things. They really ramped up the line speed. You know, it was like... It was like a basketball match and they went full court press for the whole game. They pushed so hard up the field that, you know, it didn't give Ireland an opportunity to, to really go after that space on the edge, which they tried to take and pass accuracy killed them on the edge at times. But also they went after Ireland's backfield and their defensive system in the fact that, you know, 15 closed hards on the edge and they put those grubber kicks in behind and turn the Irish uh, turn the Irish backfield and that, that created a lot of opportunities for them. And ultimately it led to the tries directly as well, like the pressure put on Jacob Stockdale, pressure put on Earls for the first try, and then Slade getting his intercept at the end as well. It was a very conscious decision by England to push up like that. Yeah, it, it was obviously a tactic that they'd planned and that they'd gone, they, they had, you know, practiced for the last two weeks because it didn't stop. You know, um, you know, even getting that intercept at that stage to get that bonus point try, where you know, and Ireland are obviously pushing and they're they're trying to get back into the game, but it was a consistent theme. You know, even here at the the very last play before um, George Ford ran out with the ball, you know, there was another opportunity for for an intercept there. You know, they were it was repeated efforts, repeated efforts. So it was a it was a consistent tactic, and they went from it from from minute one to to eighty. They didn't make life comfortable for Jonathan Sexton either. He didn't have the best of games tonight. No, they, they went after him early, I think, in terms of, um, you know, any time he was on the ball and, you know, if there was any doubt, you know, he, 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 he got a hit, um, you know, which is perfectly legal. There was, no, there was nothing untoward really done to him. But they, I think the, the line speed just, just, you know, and he was possibly he hasn't played a whole lot of rugby since New Zealand. So maybe, you know, that, that tactic of the line speed and getting after them, you know, that was, you know, that kind of just cut off his options. They lived on the edge a little bit, England, at times. The Taji could have seen a card in the first half. Yeah, and I, I, I think at half time, um, you know, Ireland were possibly lucky to be in the position they were in because it was England's consistent ill discipline that was getting letting Ireland get back in the game, back in the game, and they three or four silly penalties, you know, needless um, things that not for holding on to the ball or coming in the side, they were late shots, they, they were off the ball, and you know there was a couple of things that were you know guys slapping each other on uh, you know Ireland player Kyle Sinclair slapping a couple of lads on the back and on the head and Gene Rupp's mindless stuff that's not not needed but you didn't see that in the second half you know there was one instant but that was that was it Th those happened but you didn't see those silly penalties which and and that might have been something they said at half time you know Ireland discipline has given Ireland an opportunity to you know to to get 40 meters up the pitch to build to get three points to get into the corner you know that's where the try came from so it could have been a very very different ball game if they had managed to sort out their ill discipline a bit earlier your assessment of Robbie Henshaw experiment at fullback then um yeah, I, I, I think, you know, there's going to be a lot made of this, um, but, you know, it was it was possibly something that in hindsight, yeah, maybe, you know, I'd probably go for the, you know, the, the easy pick and pick Rob Kearney, but neither of them have played a huge amount of ball, and, and, and that's probably something that just, that was just the, just the way it was. He, he obviously felt that Robbie had a bit more in the legs, um, so... Yeah, it's unfortunate, and because they kick so much and they went off the backfield, it's going to be put under the microscope. Um, well, it obviously didn't work based on the result, um, but I don't think it's it was down to individual errors. I think it was just uh, good tactics and uh, and uh, and good thought process from England. Seasons, you know, obviously Scotland, and then last year it took the last gasp from Johnny to actually dig a result in France. Is there something, some kind of reason for three slow starts like this? I don't know. It's probably just something that. Like guys have to get used to systems again. Um, even though they're in camp during Christmas and stuff, it's very hard to leave your provincial uh, hat out the window straight away and and click into gear. Um, yeah, and it was just you know sometimes a lot of people saying a lot of things about a group can create a bit of a chip on a shoulder. Maybe England had that a bit more today, um, and you know people were writing them off and you know giving them a giving Ireland an eight point spread. You know, might have G'd them on a tiny bit as well. Not that the English need much G'ing on, but you know that, that might have been something. So, it's I'm not sure they'll probably have to look at it. But you know, they have to move on now. People are going to call for you know guys to be dropped, and they're going to question systems, and there's going to be a bit of panic. 
but for me it's regardless of everything that happened they had three or four opportunities that they lost purely down to pass accuracy they fixed those it's a different game on a final note, it's been a mixed weekend for the Irish sides. The uh, 20s winning, great result in Cork. Uh, the women's team took an, taking a heavy enough beating last night at Energy Park. But the Ireland uh, club's team getting a good start against Scotland. You're assistant coach with them. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good evening. Um, we started particularly well, and, and that was a focus as our over, over the last kind of four or five weeks we've had the lads in. So, yeah, it was a really good win. It's a 14 point lead for us going into the second half now on Friday night in uh, Energy Park. So, hopefully, we get a big crowd. There were some huge crowds at the, at the women's game and the 20s game and it's the only international in, in Ireland next week so hopefully we can get a get a big crowd down and finish the job. Well, Johnny, best looks to the club team next weekend. Cheers, thank you very much.